Let's play video games! Hello and welcome back to Rude Joystick Gaming. Uh, last episode I just rescued our precious Bow Wow and I managed to find enough pieces of hearts where I could extend my life points. So that's super useful. And there's actually a few places down here where I can get some treasure, like right here. So we got 50 rupees. Very nice. It's not very nice because really the only place where the rupees are going to come in handy is the shop and the shopkeeper is a bit of a cheap bastard. Uh, there is another one down here, I think. No, there isn't. That's weird, I thought there was. What does our map say? Oh, that's right, our map doesn't say anything about physical places outside of dungeons. I forgot. Okay. So now... We gotta go beat the uh, thingamajig. Got a guardian acorn. That's not gonna do us any good because I think by the time we get into here, the effect is gonna be gone. Bottle Grotto. A weird name for this place. And this is where I get really kind of sick and tired of the um, constant swapping back and forth of items. I mean, not that, not that it's really that difficult, but it is really fucking tedious. Come on. Jesus Christ. Uh, so we don't have a map yet. If I wanted to, I could come back over this way. And I th think going through here... Oh, Jesus. There we go. Don't really have to light this place up, that's not necessary. Alright, so this I think... What does this give us? This gives us the bird beak, I think. And we need the feather. So we go over here, kind of drag this... Uh, beetle thing over so that we can get over. Yep, found the stone beak. So now, if we find any more owls, they will actually give us advice. But the advice is not really helpful. Yeah, I didn't think there was like a uh, hidden chest in here or anything. So that was kind of pointless. Uh, we gotta put more powder on this place. Alright, doot, doot. Let's, um, let's just go back to our shield. Fuck it. Uh, we only have, we, yeah, we don't have any keys. Part of floor, oh shit, yeah. The owls really don't fucking tell me anything that I don't already know, which is a bit annoying. So I feel like I waste my time fucking trying to talk to them. No, 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 no! Oh god. Shit, no! Oh shit. You always gotta be on the right side of those fucking guys. Alright, so we found another small key. That's groovy. We gotta equip the rock's feather so we can jump across here and do that and this and the other thing. Step on that. Reveals that. Uh, open that up. We get another small key. Groovy! And let's jump over and over. And here we go. Now, I actually was not sure what to, like, do about these guys. 
at first. Because I tried attacking the fucking Shy Guys here, and nothing would happen. And then it occurred to me, oh, I actually have to strike them from the back. I gotta, I gotta stab them in the back. I almost fell right off. Just now. So now we go pick up the other key. Oh. Gotta hit that. Go over. And under. And we get the key. Great. Do that again. I don't think I actually have to hit that again. I can just fucking keep going. Gonna have to get the shield back out. This is one of the most annoying things about the game, is just the constant re-equipping of stuff. It's annoying. Unequip, re-equip, unequip, re-equip. Jesus Christ. Pain in my ass. Ugh! That was interesting. Oh, yeah, I need the Rock's Feather again. Hop on over, hop on that, hop on this. Now this, I don't actually have to light anything up. I can collect that heart. Um, let's get the shield out. Now this guy is a big bastard. Oh fuck! Oh, shit. When I first fucking ran into this guy, I forgot how to fight him. So I just kind of like died instantly, like two times in a row. That was such a pain in the ass. But once you know that you can just like run up to him and just constantly hit him and win really easily, it's not that bad. But I can feel the energy flowing through me. Oh god, it's this thing. Uh... Oh fuck, why did... Oh fuck, no. Alright, there we go, got a map. Oh, I almost fell again. Go up here. Okay, so we got two keys. I don't think I need the rocks feather. Maybe? I don't know. Got more rupees. Yay, rupees! It almost seems sarcastic how it just says in, in fucking capital letters, joy. Alright, let's get out our powder. There we go. And we got the power bracelet! Yay! Happy day! Let's get some more powder. And let's equip our power bracelet! Yippee-doo! Zippity-doo-da! Actually, um... Shit. Oh, let's go back to... the start of the dungeon so that we can break those pots. Um, that means I gotta equip my rocks feather again. At least it, it's pretty quick to do this. For, I forget what's in that chest at the beginning. Is it something good or something shit? Aha! I'm the million dollar man. I can perform great feats of strength. It's 50 rupees, so it's it's practically nothing. I do have an extra key, which I think, um, fucking this thing. Doot doot. Oh god, it's the Stalfos again. Alright, let's open this. What do we find? It's this guy. Groovy. Alright, what do we got? We got 
a compass. Now I can see where the chest and nightmare key is hidden. This compass has a new feature. A tone will tell you if a key is hidden in the room when you enter. Groovy. Okay, so now we can see where the nightmare is hidden. Or is that the nightmare key? No, I think that is the nightmare dungeon or the nightmare boss. We gotta go get the nightmare key now. Now, is there anything important I get from like picking up these? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it now. All right, so let's go back and and teleport with the warp thing. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There we go. And there's something. Oh yeah, these things. Do I want to go through here? Maybe I don't. I don't know. Get out of here, bastard. Let's throw that pot, and let's get the rock's feather. Oh shit. Alright, well, that was not worth the effort, really. I still got plenty of power, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Do, 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 do. And we got a small key. We can open a locked door. Shit. Gotta hit that again. Do that. Shazam! I have no idea how many times I just hit that button. Ah, oh, shit. I think I did this one. There's actually an order that we have to do this in. Ah, oh, shit. These fucking Goombas. Um... I forget. How many screens exactly I have to go over for the enemies to reset? That might have been enough, maybe. Oh shit! Alright, let's, let's try that again. lost the piece of power, so I can no longer hit things with mighty strength. Okay, the, the Stealthos is back. Um, I have to equip this thing. Ugh, get out of my way. And these things have, like, really weird fucking names. Get out of the way! Shit. Alright. Killed him. Gotta kill Stalfos. Oh fuck, I did it wrong. I think I have to kill Pull's voice, which is that rabbit looking thing. And then I have to kill the key. And then I have to kill the Stalfos. There is a very particular way of doing that. And it's not at all intuitive. Although I think that maybe it was one of the owls that like revealed what you have to do. I'm not even gonna bother hitting that, I'm just gonna jump over it. Fuck it. Alright, let's equip our power bracelet. Okay, this guy's back. 
Oh shit, no! Alright, get out of my way. Ugh, okay. There we go. Yep. Had to kill... Had to kill it in the order of Pole's voice, which is the rabbit, the key, which is the bat, and the Selfos, which is the skeleton in a robe. You got the Nightmare Key! Awesome. I can now open the door to the Nightmare's Lair. Ah, fuck. Fuck. Fick. Alright, here we go. Oh god. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Bastard. Now, I do actually need a lot of health for the sake of fighting the Nightmare in this dungeon. Because he is an absolute bastard. Okay, let's pick up the pad. Let's go up. And then we go down. That was a really pissed off looking platform. Okay. Oh sh oh fuck! Why me? Why did I have to do that? Okay. Jump over. Uh, we got re equip that. I'm your bad guy this time. Ho ho ho. It's like a fucking clown genie. This boss is such a pain in the ass. I can't move, but I'm still alright. So we gotta fucking throw it. Then we gotta dodge his fucking fireballs again. And this goes on for a while. Actually, now that I think about it, the sound effect for uh, throwing the bottle against the fucking wall seems to be very similar to um, the sound effect of Wario getting hurt in Wario Land 3. I just now realized that. Alright, now we've broken the genie's bottle. Um, We've broken Pennywise's bottle, and now he's hopping mad. And, uh. Oh, fuck. And he's gonna do that. Oh, fuck. No! And he fucking goes ape shit. And he does a lot of fucking damage. Oh, shit! I'm getting hit so fucking much. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, that was so fucking close! Christ almighty! There we go. But yeah, in Wario Land 3, that fucking... The sound effect that happens every time Wario gets hurt is the exact same sound effect used when you th smash that bottle against the wall. You've got the conch horn! And why they call it a conch horn? Why couldn't they just call it the conch? Prairie! Prairie! On the lone prairie. The prairie is waiting. Okay, so we've beaten the second dungeon! And in record time, I think. Maybe? In any case, now I've got the power bracelet, which is awesome. Because now I can walk into these things and not have to deal with the fucking annoying text that, ha that pops up every goddamn time when it's not equipped. Um, I don't think there's actually anything up here. Ah! Hoot! 
The windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight siren instruments in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. Ooh. Okay. So now we can actually get a peek at the fucking windfish egg. All right, it's too heavy. No, can't, can't do it. Can't, can't pick it up. Mount Tamaranch. So now we can get to all sorts of new places where we never could before, which is very cool. But first, we're gonna have to go return uh, Bow Wow to Mrs. Meow Meow. These fucking names, I swear. Fucking, it's a riot. Okay, so that super cool. Um, all, all sorts of new places we can go. The world is opening up before our very eyes. We are no longer bound by the limitations of rocks. <laughs> uh, fuck. No longer will, will rocks oppress us in our struggle to survive. And I actually, like, <laughs> I came across this by accident before. This is such a weird kind of thing. We woke a demon up from his nap. He says thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Yes. I'll let you carry more magic powder, hee hee. Are you ready? It's like... Like, it, he makes it sound off as... as it's a punishment that we have to carry more magic powder. But it isn't? It's just kind of useful? Well, let's pick that up. Pick that up. Pick it up. There's nothing. Alright. Can, can do all sorts of new things. New fantastic things. Actually, can I... I forget if I can actually get the heart piece in here now. Maybe. Oh, no! Knocked me right into the fucking hole, you ass! Get out of here. Let's see, I can... Yeah, I can pick this stuff up. Yep, I can get the heart piece. Yay! I did it! Alright, let's go out. And since I got the rock feather, I don't have to go back to the cave because that would be annoying. Now, there's actually more stuff over here that I can do. I'm not even gonna bother picking that up because that's annoying. Uh, whoop! Rupees! 20 rupees! That's not a lot. Is there anything over here? No. Alright, let's jump back over. Let's pick up this other stuff. All oh, right, I gotta get equipped the bracelet. Rupees, I got fifty. Very nice, great. Got lots of rupees, so it's fantastic. What do we got up here? Ah, we got another owl. Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. Very, a very strange and cryptic thing to say. I'm not sure, like, what the purpose of those owls are. They're just, they're just strange. They're just occasionally scattered about and they say weird things. So it's like, whatever. Whatever, man. Whatever. And now I think bombs should actually be available from the shop in town. So that'll be cool. Oh yeah, I can get this. Alright, let's equip that. Uh, yeah, I 
I'm strong. I have the power. I found a secret seashell. Yay! Collect enough and something good is bound to happen. Oh shit, I picked it up. I don't want it. I don't want to read. I say I don't want to read, but oddly enough, playing Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, uh, combined with Pokemon and Tetris, are actually the first educational tools I had for learning to read when I was but a wee child. Which uh, you can make of that what you will. Make whatever judgment you want. I care not. Yay, we got her precious Bow Wow. How can I ever repay you? He gives us a smooch. So we got our we got a kiss from Miss from Madam Meow Meow. Which I guess that's okay. And now let's go see what's in the shop. Because there should be some new stuff at this point. Okay, yeah, we got bombs finally. Cool. Let's pay for these bad boys. Ten bombs. Awesome. That guy is, is such a goddamn cheapskate. It makes me angry. So now we can go all sorts of new places. Oh yeah, and I forgot about this place up here. Not actually sure what's in here. There's a bed. Oh. What? The hell is this? What's happening? Oh god, where am I? Uh, what? I have no fucking idea what this is. What the fuck is this? They hit like a fucking brick shit house too. Jesus. I do not remember this part of the game. What are these things? Oh no! Alright, gonna have to equip the rock feather. Jump the gap! Can I lift this? What a weird object. There must be some way to tackle this obstacle. What's up here? There's nothing. Okay, so... Go back. Open this. We got a hundred rupees. You're happy. Okay, what? Alright, so I don't know how to actually tackle that obstacle. Maybe a bomb would work? No, it doesn't work. Alright. So it says I have to tackle it. I think that's a move that I get later on. Where I can, like, charge attack. Oh yeah, because there's another chest over there. So that's how I would get to it. Okay. That's fucking weird. I don't have any recollection of that. Wow, what the fuck? Is there something here? I feel like there might be something here. No? Nothing there? I'm just smashing pots for the hell of it. Okay, sure. I'm smashing pots for the hell of it. So I got 413 rupees. That's pretty damn good. So now I can actually just get this. Fuck it. I'll buy it. Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. Seems expensive. Let's buy it. 
That is a hell of a lot of fucking rupees for a goddamn garden shovel. And I've been recording for about uh, 30 minutes now, so I'm gonna have to cut the video here. And we'll pick it up next time, uh, so I'll see about tackling the next dungeon in the next video, unless there are more side quests to do, which I really can't remember much of this game, so I might be wandering around for a little bit. But in any case, take care, Internet. I will see you in space.